Hello and welcome everybody to Everlasting Summer, or to be more precise, to Split Heart. Yes, it is time for yet another Everlasting Summer mod. So the creator of this mod actually wrote that this is meant as a demo and he or she, I don't know, uh, is not sure if she, uh, he or she wants to continue this mod because he or she first wants feedback. And thus, I decided I'll be the judge of that. No, actually, I decided that I'll give this game a break because uh, the creator wrote that uh, he thinks he's not that good at writing. So I'll be gentle. You know, I have a tendency to be angry all the time. or And to be stupid both. And uh, often then I end up making uh, angry rants that actually make no sense. So, today... I'll be very nice. So let's see what this mod has to off offer. I often have dreams. Dreams about my childhood, my friends of my youngster age, the common experience we had, hiking in the mountains, trips in the forests, skating and so on. It was so wonderful when I drank water from a brook for the first time I read for a, from a book. You, you, I can't even speak English. The scent of the pine trees, the fresh air, the silent and calming voices of the forest. It's hard to forget those memories. We also played an interesting game, which was fit to the forest. The War of Numbers. Okay, that sounds convoluted and complicated. <laughs> Nothing for me, probably. Everyone had a paper sticked onto the forehead with a number on it. And the goal was your number was read the last time by any of the others. To avoid the camping, everyone had to move from its cover after a period of time. The game was quite simple, but it had the risk. Uh, okay, I already don't get it. <laughs> to be honest, those memories. I'm a genius. I, <laughs> I also have dreams about visions of my future as a writer, a programmer, or a designer. Something which doesn't need teamwork at all. I'm 25, but I'm still levitating like I don't know what to do with my life. I have visions, but nothing exact behind them. I earn money from occasional works, and I pay my own bills. I have my own flat in the downtown, however, I am so lonely. I spend every day at my computer, during working hours and free time. I have friends, but they're not like my ones from my childhood. The relation with them are not the same like the old pals. It is sad to think about that I lost the old ones when my parents decided to move to a far city. I tried to communicate with them, and in the beginning it worked well. Even they visit me, visited me a few times, and we did dumb things, like in the childhood. But after time, the numbers of letters was decreased, and the visits were gone. In the end, the mailing was gone too. Yeah, especially in childhood, you, you lose contact with your friends so easily. It's, it's kinda sad, but, you know... It is what it is. I miss them very much because I was new in the school. Because in the new school I hardly found new friends as re replacements of the old ones. Most of the classmates were richer than me and they acted arrogantly. Some of them were also bullies, but fortunately they left me alone. It was the beginning when my social life started to fall apart. And I'm still in that era. I'm not an invited person of parties and I don't like noisy and crowded things. I'm not the center of any groups and so on. I've never had a girlfriend because I'm too coward. Is, is coward also an adjective? Ah, awkward and shy to meet with a girl. I feel the neglect, the bitterness of. Uh, I feel the neglect. Why do I always want to say neglect? <laughs> I always do that with that word. Neglectance is that a word? I don't know. The bitterness of how I come here and the pain of repressed emotions. Maybe one day it will be better. Uh, to be honest, like the author wrote that he isn't good at writing, so far I gotta say, pretty solid writing style, I like it. I woke up, it was around 7pm, my computer gave the light to see in my dark bedroom. I was hungry, so I went to the fridge in the kitchen to look for something to eat. I had the need to make some tea to warm up, its flavors always relaxed me and I felt some warmth inside me, which was needed in this cold weather. 
everyone has ever experienced when the weather made the mood inside the heart. And it often happened with me. Yeah, that often happens to me too. But I'm more like happy when the sun is not like 100% shining down. The best weather is cloudy weather when it's not raining. In my opinion. I need the shadows. I'm a dark and evil person. I need the shadows. But like for real. Like uh, this... Uh, I'm always, I'm always getting sunburns and stuff like that, really easily. After finishing dinner, I checked the mails and the messages. I've tried to get a fixed position and a permanent job, but there has been no results yet. Another day, another waste of time. I think my life is cursed. It's a bit boring and annoying if you fail time after time. I was disappointed, and I was losing the hope to get a job. I had a lot of time to do anything. I had the whole evening to talk with anyone in the virtual way, in the virtual way, but I wasn't in the mood to do it. Anyway, what would I have talked about? I wasn't interested in popular topics and I was introverted. These four walls was the metaphor of physical and spiritual confinement. I looked out the window. Some lights were moving, but the scenery made the look as everything would have been dead. Only because it's snowing? Do you hate snow so much? Or are you talking about the buildings? Are oh, you probably talking about the buildings, huh? The prison feeling was strengthened, which made me sadder. Even it gave... Even it gave birth? Ah, it even gave birth to bad thoughts about my actual life. And I had to stop them before it would have become worse. Yeah, yeah, sometimes life is tough. I was... In my life I was also once at, at a point like this. And, you know, it's, it's not easy. It, it's not easy. In the end, I started to listen to some music. This was the only thing which gave me a bit hope not to fall into total despair. Relaxing and forgetting my life for a few hours was the medicine for my soul. I didn't know why, but my eyes decided to rest again. I wasn't that sleepy to do it, but it seemed something superior took the control over me. I couldn't resist, so I fell into sleep again. One thought was in my mind. Maybe the next day will be better. As long as you think that, everything is okay. Rise and shine, Samion. The whiteness talks to you. I had a strange vision while I was asleep. I saw blinding light and a dark human silhouette without a recognizable face. But seeing its body shape and hearing its voice, I recognized that it must have been a girl. I didn't understand what she said. Her speak was distorted. I didn't dream about girls in general, so this made me uncomfortable. <laughs> Is Simeon coming out of the closet? He's not dreaming about girls in general. I was... sorry. I had to do this one. I was always unlucky at them, so I didn't understand what the meaning was. Suddenly it waved its hand, then it came closer and closer. I was afraid of it a bit. I wasn't prepared for anything. When it was very close to see its face, the dream was over. I wonder if this person's uh, English is like mother tongue English, because I don't know. The, the, for the most part, the sentence, uh, the sentences are really, really good, and the grammatic is correct, and the structure and stuff like that. But then some some sentences seem a bit strange. But I don't know. But uh, so far, I, I really like it. Gotta say, the writing style is really good. I was awake, although my eyes weren't open. The first impressions were strange too. I felt breeze on my face, I heard birds tweeting, and I smelled some soft flower scent. Something was wrong, I felt that. But on the other hand, it was so pleasant and calming. I didn't know what to expect in the next moment, so I opened my eyes slowly. Ah, so you slept and warped into the bus. Hmm, that's some other different way to come into Sovionok, I guess. I found myself in a seat of an empty bus. I quickly recognized that it was an Icarus. I don't know how you pr uh, correctly pronounce that. Probably like Icarus with a with a nice Russian. The Russian R. It's like my my <laughs> my personal enemy. I'm so bad at rolling R's like you do it in Russian. It had been l a long time ago when I had seen one. It had been long time ago. Uh, sorry, my bad. I liked old things, although I was never able to explain why. Oh uh, yeah, I do that too. I can explain why, but hey, <laughs> why is it empty? Why am I on this? Am I kidnapped? Or did I do something wrong and this is the punishment for that? What's going on? I would have liked to ask someone about it, but no one else was there. 
It was weird to see that even the bus driver was missing, and to accept the fact that the silence was my partner for my help. I got off the bus. It felt good to move a bit. I had laid a bit uncomfortably because my back hurt a bit. When I looked around, I saw flower fields and tons of trees in this territory. What a nice scenery. I'd like to move here if it's allowed to do that. This was a huge change after years in the trap of snow. The view brought back the visions of my childhood, and I wouldn't have minded if I had been able to redo those things and to meet with my old friends again. It was kind of strange that I had had, had the feelings of nostalgia, and then it became true partly. By the way, there are places in Russia where it is super hot in summer, and it's still snowing a lot in winter. So, I don't know uh, if that is such a bright idea of you, Simeon. But since your writer is probably not from Russia, we'll forgive him. I mean, as if I was an expert on what is going on in Russia. I was shocked when I learned uh, about, uh, what was it called again? Kvass? Like the apple juice with bread drink or something like that? I really have to drink that one. As soon as I drink that, I'll uh, let you know. I'll definitely let you know. <laughs> this sounds so weird and at the same time so fascinating. I really want to drink that. I wasn't sure if it was part of mind controlling, hypnosis or anything else. It was hard to believe. Everything was so realistic. I could see, smell, hear and touch things around me. I walked a few miles on the fields because it was so refreshing. It was like a bird who tasted the freedom after opening the cage door. Still, uh, it surprises me that you are so little shocked, my friend. After I went back to the bus, I recognized a metal gauge, which had a sign on the top of that. I didn't understand how I hadn't seen it before. Sovionok, owl. This reminds me of Athens, its goddess Athene, and her bird, the owl. My love for history was useful now, I guess. It was a are we, I feel like we are kind of connected now. You love history, you love old stuff. Are you me, Simeon? Obviously it wasn't, but it was good to believe that I was right. The gate was a bit rusty, as I remember, and there was a star shaped cutting in it. I had one thought. I had just found, out, found a piece of communist ideology. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's kind of obvious with the star and the pioneers and all that, but okay. <laughs> How can it still exist? That era is already over. It's impossible to be true. Hey man, there are, there's so much. That I know. There is so much uh, stuff like that and all over the former Soviet Union. I mean, not everything was like, okay, today we take a hammer and break everything down from the Soviet era. <laughs> At least not everything. I guess someone had heard my voice, because I heard steps. Fortunately, I was fast enough to hide behind the bus. I waited a few moments, but no one came. I didn't know if it was a hallucination. I went back to slowly where... I went back slowly to where I had stood before. I looked around, but I didn't see anything alive or moving. Some paranoid thoughts came to my mind about somebody was watching me. I wasn't able to explain rationally the happenings, why I was there, or what the camp was. I heard steps again, but I felt that something grabbed my leg or my feet were made of concretes for the second. Okay, something grabbed his leg, or he felt like it, okay. The gate was opening and someone was coming out. Oh, it's not Slavia, it's Olga, so it's really different from the main game, huh? Oh, a new pioneer. It seems someone was missed from the list. I didn't dare to say anything. I guess that she must have been a leader or an administrator. But why did she call me a pioneer? I had never been in a pioneer camp, and anyway, I was too old for that. To fix, the, for, to fix this fault, would you tell me what your name is? I was shocked a bit, but I tried to answer it politely. Uh, my name is Simeon, miss. What a polite boy. My name is Olga. I, I'm pretty sure it's not polite to only say I'm Simeon. It's probably polite to say your name, your father's name and your last name. I suppose. Leave it in the comments if you know it better. Probably you know it better. <laughs> If you need something, just call me. My legs were still rigid. Now follow me, or do you want to explore the camp? Uh, no. Go ahead, miss. Good. I didn't know why I had it, had it talking. I didn't know why I had accepted it without thinking. But I had no other chances, to be honest. After we had entered the area of the camp, the gates were closing. I had the feeling that I had just become trapped. 
While we were walking, we reached the square. It had a big statue with a name on its pedestal. Genda. I didn't remember that name because I was interested in ancient and medieval history. Remembering of modern happening states and names was difficult to me, although it was mandatory. Okay, then we're not alike. Like, my favorite time in history are the most interesting time. Not my favorite time. I swear to God, I don't want to go to that time. But the 19th uh, century was like my favorite time in history. It's so interesting. All the development uh, of Europe from uh, the Napoleon War era, uh, era up to, uh, you know, the developing of imperialism. It's, it's all so interesting. But I swear to God, I don't want to live there. <laughs> I admitted that something was confident, hopeful and powerful in its posture. I wa it was like the guardian and the observers of this place. I was impressed a bit, but I tried to, but I tried to take my look away from the statue. I saw a lot of wooden cabins around the square. So this means I'm not alone here with the camp leader. At least I hope so. I'm wondering who else is here. I was curious and frightened by the unknown at once. Punishing, bullying, respecting, liking, hating, all of them was a possible opportunity. I knew that I was overthinking the possibilities a bit, but no one saw the future, which was the core of discomfort. To be honest, I don't think at this point oh, anybody would think about like bullying or uh, liking or hating or anything. At this point you will think, my god, aliens, uh, mafia, uh, secret service, I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Probably not about bullying. The sun was shining and the weather was warm, which calmed me down. Um, hello? Oh, we're just, uh, we were just walking. I get, I see. We reached the camp leader's cabin, then we entered. It was a big room with some furniture and two beds. Nothing extravagant, expansive or special. Just like in a normal camp. Because all of the cabins are occupied, I have no choice left. You're going to live with me here. That still makes so little sense. By the way, is there a Russian mod where, uh, with an Olga route? I really want an Olga route. I feel like uh, Olga is like really the, one of the most interesting persons in the camp in general. But she gets so little love, you know? <laughs> It's strange. I'm, I'm in this game. Like the, the most things I see are like Lena mods and Alisa mods, and then pictures and stories I can't read because I can't read Russian and all that, and I don't understand Russian obviously. But um, you know, so little about like Slavia or something or Olga. I'm with the people who nobody gives a fuck about her. <laughs> Is it sure? Why do you ask? Isn't it a good place? Or are you afraid of me? Oh, this has actually choices. Cool. Give me a second. I will do le safe. Uh, six. I have to remember that. <laughs> I have to remember that. I won't remember that anyway. I know me. I'm scared a bit. Just asking. It's okay. Yo, well, why not? It's okay. I have just wanted to be sure that I'd live here. I'm so excited to start my first day. Alright, young pioneer. I like that you're so ambitious. It wasn't a general reaction from me. I don't remember when I was so energetic and curious before that event. So this Semyon really has no sorrow or uh, isn't scared or anything because of this situation? Okay. Well, let's go with that then. A few moments later, she gave me the keys to the cabin. Lunchtime is coming, but before that you should get pioneer clothes. As I see, you don't have a baggage or something else. It's a bit annoying, but I think I have some spare clothes. She opened a chest and took out a pioneer uniform in the perfect size. That is a bit weird. This fits on me for the first sight. Did someone know that I was coming here? What would I have done if the size had been wrong? Well, uh, if it is too big, I guess it's okay, but if it's too small, it's really a problem. Wait, enough of these, th uh, enough of these thoughts. Enjoy that it's not worse. You're really a positive Semyon. I kind of like this Semyon. I mean, it's unrealistic, kind of, but he has a positive attitude, so I applaud him. <laughs> Seriously, how would I have enjoyed this? I didn't want to come here, so this was my primary goal. Finding out how I had come... Go, go, not girl. Finding out how I had come here and how I could escape from here. Okay, now we're back to realism. The camp leader recognized that I was thinking, so she asked. 
It seems you're deep in your thoughts. I had to answer quickly. I didn't know. I didn't want her to know anything about my plan. Uh, well, I'm thinking on what I'm going to do this afternoon. Nothing else. After lunch, you have to visit the infirmary, the cyber electronic club, the music club, and the library. You don't have to think on that. At least not for today. Obligations. Damn. I forgot that I had to play by the rules. Can I avoid them for a short time? I had to ask it. Is it necessary to do it today? Can it wait until tomorrow? Are you kidding me, Simeon? What kind of pioneer are you? Everybody else did this during this morning, and you won't, and you won't be the first who violates the rule. I didn't want to make you angry, miss. Well, don't forget about it. Here's the paper about your visits. At the end of the day, I want to see all of the signatures. I was a bit angry, but I could do nothing else. Just accepting it. I guess but accepting it would have been right. I have to check some cabins. See you later, and enjoy your stay. She left that cabin with a smile on her face. I had time to change my clothes, and I looked for a mirror. I saw myself as I was a few years younger. But it's the sorcery! It can't be the reality. I must be dreaming. I didn't want to believe the image in the mirror, but I had to. It seemed that I would have, I would have to solve this mystery. There was no logical way to explain the circumstances, and I didn't believe in wonders or miracles. Every sense could be tricked, but the skepticism was always on guard. So I took the paper into the pocket and I left the cabin. Nothing else was left to do, and anyway, it was not time to get in touch with the other campers. After exiting, I heard the siren. Lunchtime, just in time. I'm very hungry. Alright, so, so far this game is pretty much the same as uh, Everlasting Summer, only in a short manner, you know? Everything is um, summed up. I like that. On the one hand, I really like that we get a reintroduction to the game, more or less, because, um, you know, you can't start a story off without telling the beginning. But still, it is still Everlasting Summer, so of course, the beginning is kind of similar to the main game. Okay, the main game was a bit different, we had the we had the bug thing with Ulyana, and we met Ali, uh, Slavia in the beginning and stuff. But uh, I like that uh, it is like a short repackage of the actual start of the game. Only a bit different. You know what I mean? I, th I think this is pretty good. I didn't know this place, so my idea was researching the square. Then following other pioneers, if I found some. I don't know if it's real, but I shouldn't tell anyone about my plan. While I was going and thinking, a boy ran into me from behind. Hey, uh, hey, can't you be more careful? I I'm sorry, I'm trying to hurry. I have important things to do. A few seconds, seconds was gone in silence. Uh, wait, I haven't seen you before. Are you new here? Yes, that is right. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Electronic. Nice to meet you. My name is Simeon. Hey Simeon, are you interested in technology? Uh, not really, no. Well, you can change your mind later. I'm a member of the Cyber Electronic Club, and anyone can join there. That's great. It would be fantastic to get an extra burden by the membership. Isn't it enough to solve the mystery of this place? I had to react somehow, and I didn't want to make a bad first impression. It sounds nice. By the way, why are you ru uh, where are you running? To the canteen, of course. We could go together if you don't mind. I don't know this camp well. Then let's go. I like that we already always uh, actually go. That's an interesting touch. We ran to the canteen and we were th there a minute later. The sounds of silverware and dishes were heard us outside the building. It was a good feeling to move a bit faster. I hadn't done exercises regularly since the finishing of the secondary school. We entered the canteen. Almost all of the seats were occupied. Luckily, we found three adjacent chairs at the table, so we decided that those would be ours. The menu, pea soup, a sausage, kefir, and some buns. That was a good start for the rest of the day. We took the seats, then a new boy with glasses appeared in the door. He took the meal quickly, then he came to us. Electronic. It seems one of the wires has become broken. I haven't had the time to fix it yet. A few moments later, the boy recognized me. What an unpolite freak I am. Ah, I'm sorry. 
Let me introduce him. His name is Semyon, and he's a new member of the camp. Hello. Electronic, by the way. Don't worry about me. Ah, Electronic, by the way. Don't worry about me. It's my fault to forget about this. Hi, Simeon. I'm Shurik, and I'm a member of the Cyber Electronic Club. Oh, it's really, it's really messing with my brain that it's called Cyber Electronic Club here. Wasn't it Cybernetic Club in uh, the real game? But, you know, just me being stupid. It was a bit obvious after his first sentence. His glasses remind me of the glasses which my grandfather had. It's, it's kind of funny, because um, this game was probably not made by a Russian person, because this mod is only in English, at least so far. And I was told by um, Andre, who um, commented a lot on my Everlasting uh, Summer playthrough, that uh, Shurik is actually... Uh, modeled after a Soviet comedian and uh, he showed me a picture and yeah, it's this really, really, really obvious resemblance. I forgot the the comedian's name, but uh, it's really obvious and, you know, of course, this person doesn't know either. I wonder, it would have been funny if Simeon kind of did some reference to that. But on the other hand, even if Simeon did a reference to Shurik's look, I probably would not have would not have gotten it. I've tried to persuade him to join, but he hasn't wanted yet. It's kind of sad that no one else is interested in new scientific explorations. Then we continued the eating. Well, let's stop you. We're 26 minutes in. That is good. I don't know how long this demo is. As mentioned, this mod is not yet uh, finished, so we'll see about that in the future. But uh, in the future, the next few parts. <laughs> I mean, it's just the future, but hey, you know, not the very far future. So, as mentioned, I don't even know why the, the person who made this uh, mod had so little confidence. The writing style is great. I mean, I don't know about the story yet. Basically, it's just, you know, setting up the whole camp scenario that is also in the main game. So we'll see about... we we'll see about the rest and the story and how all plays out. But the writing style is great so far, and the, the way the characters are portrayed, I like it. Simeon is a bit different than usual. Uh, he's a bit more positive, which is kind of an interesting feat. Well, in the beginning he wasn't that positive now. But he's, he's kind of reacting different to the circumstances. That is, that is actually true, he's reacting different to the circumstances. So it's interesting to see what this mod has to offer. I hope you like it as well if you do come back for the next part. So thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Bye bye.